So 4.3, we're going to start looking at how do we write equations for those types of things we just got done discussing. Parallel lines, perpendicular lines. So essentially a lot of skills today, guys. How do we recognize if lines are parallel or perpendicular when they're written in equation form? All right. Uh, I'm going to put a word up here. I'm put a word up here. You guys remind me of what its definition is. Remind me of my definition again. Okay, that would be a slope-intercept oh. form. So it would have slope in it. What if I said, how do you find the slope? What am I really looking for? What's oh. the definition of slope, gang? Rise a rise over a run. Okay, rise over a run. What I want you to understand today is this: we're going to be looking at a lot of characteristics of what rise over run means today. What do the slopes mean when we start comparing them with different lines? All right. First question I have here, then again, how do we recognize if lines are parallel or perpendicular in equation form? Okay. Um, for goals today, we want to identify and write equations of parallel lines, identify and write equations of perpendicular lines, and then use parallel and perpendicular lines in real life. Okay? Let's get some vocab established. We'll look at some examples, and then we'll see if we can't work our way through this here today, all right? Uh, first vocab word I have up there, parallel lines. Definition, it says, lines in the coordinate plane that never do what? They never meet. Okay, so there's a big note over here that's really important for you guys. You might want to highlight this. I'm going to do it right now. Um, it says the slopes of parallel lines are what? What does it say right there? Whoops. What's it say about the slopes of parallel lines, guys? Ah, come on. Work. It does not want to work too big. All right, one last time. Yeah, I think technology is great, and this is awesome. My words. There we go. Slopes of parallel lines are the same. Very important stuff. Okay. What the heck does that mean? Well, here's the deal. I'm going to put in, what's the slope of this line that I already have in here, guys? Negative, Negative one half. Okay, watch what I do here. I'm going to type this in. I'm going to type in y equals negative 1 divided by 2 x plus, oops, I didn't want to do that. I just want to do this. Plus 8. Maybe plus, yeah, plus 8. Oh, darn it. Must be Monday or something. Let's take a look at those two lines that are up there. Does that appear to be parallel? If I keep zooming out, keep zooming out, and keep zooming out, do they look like they're ever going to cross if I keep going on forever? Okay, so the thing I want you to understand right here is this. The thing I want you to understand right here is this. What was the slope in this line right here? What's the slope here? Negative half, right? What's the slope of this line? Negative half. If you have two lines where the slopes are the same, then what kind of lines do you get? Parallel lines. Parallel lines. They're never going to cross. So back in the notes, right here, back in my notes right here, it says, hey, if you ever have parallel lines, lines that never meet, those equations are represented in such a way that the slopes are the same. Okay. Now, perpendicular lines. The word perpendicular. What's the word perpendicular mean? What's it say right here? Form a 90 degree angle. Okay, the big idea behind this one. Lines that are perpendicular form a 90 degree angle. Again, if the room is built right, if the room is built correctly, how about the floor and the wall here? How about the floor and the wall? What should be true about that angle? It's 90 degrees. I should, therefore, I can say the wall is, what's the word? Perpendicular to the floor. Okay, check this out. Let's see what the definition or the identification for the following is here. It says, hey, my slopes of any perpendicular line are, what's the phrase right here that they use, guys? What's the phrase that they use right here? Opposite. Opposite reciprocals, okay? 
other than that being a finishing move in a WWE, <laughs> this also means it's locked. I have a fraction two thirds. What's a fraction two thirds reciprocated? What's a reciprocal two thirds? Three halves. Switch it around. And then it says it was positive to begin with. You turn it to a what? Negative. Okay, I want to show you something real quickly. Uh, just so we understand this perpendicular lines, if I have one slope of two thirds, you might want to write this down. Then the opposite reciprocal, which I'll abbreviate the opposite reciprocal like this, opposite REC is negative three over two. The opposite reciprocal is negative three over two. So I want to show you something here quickly. If I have a slope of 4, which is the same as 4 over what, kiddos? Is it 4 the same as 4 over 1? Subtraction 4. If I said, hey, you have a slope of 4, wouldn't you rise 4 and run 1? Okay, so my question then is this. I always denote parallel like uh, this. What's a parallel slope? And then a perpendicular is like an upside down T. What's a perpendicular slope? So again, what's true about lines with... Um, I should back up and say, what's true about lines that are parallel? Their slopes were the same. So what would a parallel slope be to this? Wouldn't it be 4? Again? How about the perpendicular slope to that guy? This is the one that's the opposite reciprocal. So what's the opposite reciprocal of 4 over 1? 1 over 4, but not positive anymore. Negative. Switch the sign. So this would be negative 1 fourth. So what I want to do here quickly is this. I just want to show you that, hey, lines uh, that are parallel have the same slope. We've already looked at that graphically. I also want to show you graphically that lines with uh, opposite reciprocals of slope form a 90 degree angle. So let's take a look at that quickly. In decimals here, if I go ahead and get rid of this, uh, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Guys, I'm going to leave this original line up here, y equals negative half x. I don't want parallel anymore, I want perpendicular. What is the slope up here again, guys? What's the slope up here? Negative 1 over 2. So what would the opposite reciprocal of negative 1 over 2 be? 2 over 1. 2 over 1 being what value then? Just 2. So how about we punch in something like y equals uh, 2x, maybe plus 4 like this. y maybe equals 2x plus 4. Okay, do those two lines cross, first of all? Yes, furthermore, how about the angle there? Looks like it might be how many degrees there, guys? 90. Let's check this. Let's just check this. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. All right, so let's do this. Walk the gallery here. Um, come on. Come on. There we go. My, what do they call this thing? What do you guys call that thing? Marks with a P. Well, protractor, right? Right? Best I can here to try and get this down. That's pretty close. Okay, it's great. What do you think about my measurement right there? What does it say that angle is right there? Look at my measure right here. What's it saying? What's my angle? <coughs> 90 degrees. This line right here and this line. How many degrees apart are they? Well, 90 degrees apart. Okay. How do these slopes relate right here if this was negative 1 half and this is 2? There's a reciprocal. Furthermore, what kind of reciprocal? Opposite reciprocal. Okay. So the thing I want you to get out of today is this. If you have two lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are the opposite reciprocally. If you have two lines that are parallel, then the slopes are the same. 
whether you're talking same soul or positive reciprocal for soul. Okay? Put those two things into your brain right now. We're looking at same soul and opposite reciprocal slopes. Okay, good. Uh, let me get rid of this. Oops, didn't want to do that. I think that thing is kind of cute. Right? Okay. All right, very good. So let's look at this. I want to give you some sheet notes here to help you make the be successful. Whoops. All right, a couple things to recall first of all, guys. You might want to write this down. Recall the following: how to find soul and, and different you know, forms of life. Okay, we talked an awful lot about standard form and soul complex form. Reminder: standard form is the following: ax plus. Anybody know the rest of it? Y equal to x. C. Okay, you understand that form. We've looked at that already this year. All right. One thing I'm going to tell you about that is this. You'll want to write this down. The slope of any line in standard form is found by taking the opposite of your A value, dividing it by your B value. Okay? The slope of any line in standard form, opposite of A over B. We've talked about that a little bit. We haven't gone into it in depth, but uh, know that. All right? Then, we also have lines which are slope-intercept form. We're really good at this. Y equals MX plus B form. Which variable represents my slope there? M is my slope. Okay? M is the slope. Okay, so just take a second, double check, make sure you've got everything down on that first page. Again, we're going to be looking at slopes that are either the same or slopes that are opposite reciprocal of each other. That's what we're looking at today. That's what we're looking at. We need to differentiate between standard form and slope intercept form to be successful with what we're going to look at right now. Okay? Let me know when you have that first part down. Everybody good? Okay. Take a look at the second page here, guys. I never got a chance to put these in here, and I apologize. So I think what I'm going to do is hand some rulers out here real quickly. I'm going to hand out some rulers. I'm going to take one and move them on. Grab a ruler. I'm going to put some lines in here as best I can. Specifically three of them. So let me blow this up a bit. Uh, and give me a second. I'm going to give you a minute. Just go ahead and graph those lines like I have. Pick the specific points like I have. Get that graph in there like I have. Again, I apologize for not getting those lines in there. Seniors, oh, if you're in meeting with the Kirkwood Community College rep, please go to the boardroom at this time. Any seniors interested in meeting with the Kirkwood Community College rep, please go to the boardroom at this time.
Do I need more time getting those three lines drawn? Okay, I'm going to kind of zoom this back down. Talk about what it is I want to talk about. It. Guys, I'm going to call this the blue line, the red line, and the black line. I think I'll call this line A. Call this line, whoops. Call this line B here in the red. Line C in black. Okay? Guys, just for those three lines, it says determine which lines are parallel. And which two lines would be parallel of the three? Thoughts on this? Thoughts on this? Which lines are going to be parallel? I heard somebody say something. Kelly? A and C. Why are you saying A and C, kiddo? So when you say they have the same points, they're just in different order. What do you mean by that? Go okay, back to your first page of notes here. Look in the vocab part for parallel lines. Far right box on parallel lines. What's it say? Okay, so why are A and C parallel? You said something about the points. Yep, exactly. The points I used right here, guys. Check it out. What's the rise over run for the blue line? Rise how much from point to point? So that slope is a half, right? Same thing with C. You would rise one, run two. So what's going to be true about those slopes right there if line A and C are parallel? Or they're going to have the same slope. What's the slope of line B, guys? What's the slope of line B? How far up do I rise? How far do you run? Is that slope the same as the other two? No. So I'm going to say line... A is, I use this symbol right here, parallel, parallel, like this, a couple of lines, vertical. Line A is parallel to line C, since the slopes are what? They're all the same. Since the slopes are the same. Okay. Line A is parallel to line C since the slopes are the same. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. All right. Okay, so example two then wants to start on this idea. And this is going to be the big idea today of really what you're trying to accomplish. Writing some equations for parallel lines will also look at an example for perpendicular lines as well. But here's the deal. It says write an equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 1. And it's parallel to the line y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, This might be where decimals comes in uh, good as a visual for you. So I'm going to pull this up here. Everybody have example 1 stuff written down here? Everybody have that written down? Okay. I want to run to decimals. First of all, what point do we have to pass through according to example 2, gang? What point do we have to pass through according to example 2? What was it? 3 comma 1. So I'm going to plot 3 comma 1. Give me a second to do that. Okay, so here's my point. 3 comma 1 right there. And we have a line that passes through that point 3 comma 1. I don't know what it is, but it said it was parallel to what other line, guys? What was the equation of the other line they give us? Y equals, ah, I like this one. Okay. We need to have a line that passes through the purple point right here such that that line is parallel to the orange line here. <coughs> Let's see. I told you at the beginning today you're either going to have to know same slope or opposite reciprocal of slopes. Same slope or opposite reciprocal. Parallel lines, are they the same or are they opposite the reciprocal of each other? So we have to have a line through that purple point such that the slope is the same as the slope through the orange line. Well, what the heck's the slope through the orange line? Look at your equation that formed the orange line. Three. Slope's three, right? So you have to have an equation that passes through the purple point with a slope of three. Hmm. 
What did you say the slope was going to be again, Tori? Three. Do we have a slope? Do we know what point I have to pass through? We do, don't we? Isn't this a self point slope form like the last example or last section was? Write an equation that passes through a point with a given slope. It is, isn't it? So, let's do that. Let's do that. What's the slope have to be down here again, guys? What's the slope have to be again if we're parallel? You just told me, Tori. So the slope has to be 3. Slope has to be 3 because we are parallel. Slope has to be 3. Slope means parallel. Same slope. All right, so we can call a point slope form. This is how you do it. Here's your formula. We have for any equation with a slope of 3, such that it passes through which point, kiddos? 3 comma 1. All right, volunteer to help me fill in stuff. Volunteer to help me hand or plug in stuff. I've heard from Kaylee a lot, so someone different. Nah, we know this. Nolan, you want to help me? All right, go, bud. All right, y minus 1. Yep. I'll do all the chugging here now. Y minus 1 is equal to 3x minus 9. Did I distribute correctly, kiddos? Okay, add 1 to both sides. Minus 9 shall turn into a minus. <coughs> Careful, add 1. <coughs> minus how much? Yep. Again, what do I love about decimal? Well, here's the equation that's parallel to the given line. Parallel to the given line, passing through 3 comma 1. What do I love about decimals? Tell me when you've got that down. Anybody need more time? Anybody need more time with that? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Otherwise, I look like a fool if you're standing there holding the wall up. You guys must be tired today. Brunch for lunch. What's for brunch today? <laughs> Frenchy toast, huh? Is that better than Swiss toast? Is it? They make it in Switzerland instead of France. Oh. <laughs> All right, hey, what did I say? I said I love something about decimals. This is what I love about decimals. I can come down here, and I can say, hey, let's type in what I have. Why? What do we get for an equation? Y equals what? 3x minus 8. Listen, if I punch in 3x minus 8, guys, if I punch in 3x minus 8, why is that doing that to me? Let's just reset this and try this again. If I punch in y equals 3x minus 8, the two lines better be, what's what's the characteristic I'm looking for? Parallel. Why don't we parallel? y equals, oops, I didn't want to do that. Gosh, dang, man. Even I'm having an off morning. Everybody has a bad day, right? Okay, here we go. y equals 3x, what do we say, minus 8, guys? Furthermore, all right, looks like I'm parallel already, but it better pass through what colored point there? Purple point, does it? If I have the lines that are parallel like they wanted, and it passes through the point like they gave us, is that right? It is, isn't it? Okay, let's try another one here. Let's look at another one. Let's look at another one. Decimals, confirm it that way. Google that your work is right. Okay, so let's run off to example number, what are we on, three right now? Oh, I like this one. Okay, uh, there's a typo in this. I want you to change line A up here for me. Change this to Y equals 2 over 3X 
plus 3. Now, I have it right in the table, don't I? Right down here. Because what I did is I took all the lines and put them in a the table down here. Okay, see. It says you have three lines up here in example 3. You want to know if the lines are parallel or perpendicular. Well, I can plug stuff in in decimals and look at them. So, yep, I can tell just by that. I don't want to do that. Okay? I don't want to do that. I have line A defined by this function. Line B defined by this. Line C defined by this. First question here, guys. We're talking about comparing slopes. If I want to know something's parallel or perpendicular, we either look for slopes that are the same or that are opposite reciprocal to each other. So my question to you in all these is this. First of all, line A, what form is that? Standard form or slope intercept form? Slope intercept form. What's the slope right down here, guys? Slope is two-thirds. That's easy enough. Write that down in here. Write that down in here. Okay. Line B, slope intercept form or standard form? Standard. So I told you in the beginning of the lesson, hey, find the slope. Is the opposite of A over B. Okay, those, what's the opposite of A right here then? If A is positive 3, what's the opposite of 3? So the slope would be negative 3 divided by your B value of what? What's the B value in that standard form equation? 2. So the slope here is negative 3 over 2. Finally, in line C. In line C, is that standard form or slope intercept form? That is... Standard form. So again, looking at slope as the opposite of A over B as its standard form. What is the opposite of A, kiddos? Negative 3. What's the B value? Negative 2. However, what's a negative divided by a negative really going to be? Positive. So the slope really here is 3 over 2. Okay, so listen to my questions here, kids. Are there any slopes here that are exactly the same? Any of those slope values, A, B, and C slope values, are any of them exactly the same? They are. So what's that implying, guys? If none of the slopes are exactly the same, what's that at least imply for us? This is a question up top. Determine which of the lines are parallel or perpendicular. None of the slopes are exactly the same. What's that imply? No line up there is parallel. Not a single one is parallel. Okay? Because not a single slope was the same. Good. Okay. Then, we're talking about perpendicular. Are there any slopes up there that would be opposite reciprocals of each other? Opposite meaning one's positive, the other's negative. Reciprocal. Numerator and denominator switched around. Are there any values up there of which one slope is an opposite reciprocal of the other. Tori, you're shaking your head. Yes. Line A and line B. Look at line A and line B here, kids. Slope's two-thirds. Positive, right? Do I have the opposite part right here on line B? Going from positive to negative? That's cool. How about the numerator and denominator? Did they get switched? They did. So the only thing I can say here is this, and here's how I'll write it. I'm going to say this. Line A is perpendicular to line B. You guys fill in the reason. Because, because you guys finish the rest. They're not the same, but what's the definition of perpendicular slopes again? Or what characteristic defines lines as perpendicular? Opposite what? Ah, come on, kid, come on, come on, come on. Because the slopes are opposite, reciprocal to each other. Good, good, good. Because the slope drops, so the reciprocal is going to cover. 
I think this would be a really good part or point to stop today. Uh, we've got a couple more examples to finish tomorrow. I'm not going to give you a new assignment today. So the only thing due at the end of the day is 4.1, 4.2 due tomorrow. I'll be getting 4.3 out there tomorrow to you as well. Okay. Um, guys, this stuff right here, this section.